superhero masks. Oh my gosh, excellent. Hey guys, nice to see you. It's been a little while. So today we're going to talk about going back to school with COVID-19 still around. Um, some people have already gone back, some still to go back, some are doing blended or all virtual or some going in physically. If you're doing all virtual, the good thing is that you're the safest. Um, hopefully you've gotten accustomed to your child being in your space 24-7. But if not, <laughs> I'll leave some resources, some links to some resources in the description. We have our health education classes for children, so you can check those out. Um, but today we're going to talk about, you know, how to stay the safest um, while going back to school physically. So I'm, I've broken it into three parts and the first one is to do your due diligence, especially depending on the age of your child. But regardless of the age as a parent, it's important that you do your due diligence to make sure that the institutions are doing what they should do to keep your child the safest. So a few things you can look out for and inquire about uh, what the policy is for staff and students. All of them should be wearing masks. How often they screen their staff for symptoms, how often they're going to test the staff for symptoms what's the policy if a child is sick because the child should be told to stay home um, you should find out if they have um, hand sanitizing stations hand washing stations if they have plexiglass screens um, all these things help assist you know from from the virus getting transmitted so these are things to inquire about and um, then the second section really is about you and being responsible because no matter what the institution does, if you aren't responsible, if your child isn't responsible, then, you know, virus transmission is still possible. So wear a mask. Um, you've been hearing it, but just remember that it's to help others from contracting the virus. And if everyone wears a mask, then we decrease the chance of people getting it. The other thing is remember that friendship doesn't exempt anyone from having the virus. So just because someone's your friend it doesn't mean they don't have it so don't throw parties don't attend big parties have any large gatherings it's inadvisable um, then of course washing your hands and not touching your face so you should if, if it's age appropriate you should be carrying a bottle of hand sanitizer on using it regularly and washing your hands on entry to a room exit from the room, if you have any kind of physical contact, you ensure that you wash your hands because you have to be responsible. And um, then of course, if you happen to have symptoms, you should stay home and inform the institution. So, and then you should get tested because it's important that everyone knows that there was possible contact and so that we can all protect other, pe other people. And you stay home and call in, get medical attention or follow whatever your public health guidelines say. Um, so that basically will work for older teens, teens, uh, you know, 8 to 10 year olds. But if you have a really young ch child, that's where it gets quite difficult. And that's where due diligence is super important because you are really depending on the institution to protect your child. So, you know, follow all the due diligence guidelines from above. But what can you do to help your little one be safe? The important thing with children is to encourage habit. So when they're at home, you wash their hands regularly, very frequently, more often than they even need to wash their hands because then it becomes habit. And then they will ask, why haven't I washed my hands as yet? And they will start to wash their hands for themselves more regularly. Another thing is the superhero masks. Oh my gosh, excellent. Children love to dress up, play characters, so you get them a superhero mask. It's not even about coronavirus anymore. It's just about being whatever character or superhero they, you know, the mask that they have on it. Um, another thing is getting them into the habit of cleaning. So when you're when you're wiping surfaces, you know, have them around, talk to them, explain to them why you're cleaning, why this is important. Um, if they're old enough, you can help them clean, you, you can let them help you clean as well. And other than that, um, get them into understanding that for now, some interaction is virtual. So help them have virtual fun. You could set up play dates with their friends online or you can have them take online classes, fun classes, learn something new. And as I said, we have lots of resources, so I will leave the links in the description. Um, then finally, to the parents, your education is very important. You can't try to educate the child unless you are 
educated. So check out all our resources for COVID-19 that we've done so far and um, you know, just try to stay the course. Bye. <laughs>